someone is in urgent need for an intervention god says this word is for you shalom the lord bless you welcome to purpose and marita bliss with pastor honoring i have a prophetic word for someone god says this is a word for someone who is in desperate need for an intervention this word is coming to us from first kings chapter 17 from verse 7 to verse 16 first kings 17 from verse 7 to verse 16 let me start by telling us that when you pray for something, God gives you an instruction. When you pray for something, God gives you an instruction. This is for this word is for someone with that needs a divine intervention. Someone who needs for God to show up and for God to show up now. You need God to show up in a particular aspect of your life. And this story, 1 Kings 17, is telling us of the story of the Zarephath widow. And when you read that, that, that story, when you look at the caption of the story, God tells Elijah, go to Zare, rise up now and go to Zarephath. There is a widow there that I have instructed to take care of you. After this was after Elijah had made the declaration that brought the drought. The, the, the famine that came with the drought too. But all along, the, God had been using the raven to feed Elijah. But the brook at some point got dry and God sends Elijah to this widow, to the Zarephath widow who had a son. And Elijah goes to this widow and asks the widow and asks the widow for water. And, and as she's going to get the water, he says, get me something to eat. And the widow says, as Truly as the Lord your God lives, he says, there is nothing to eat. All I have is a little flour and a little oil to make the cake for me and my son to eat and die. I am talking to someone who, has, who is at the point where they have just little in their hands. They need a rapid intervention. I'm talking to someone who has, this is not a general word. I'm talking to someone who is at the verge of being sent out of a house. I'm talking to someone who is at the verge of losing their job or who is who is believing God for a financial break. I'm talking to someone who is believing God to start up a company, to start up a business. I'm talking to someone who needs divine intervention. Where you are right now, you need for God to step in. I'm talking to someone whose marriage is at the verge of collapsing and you need a divine intervention. Whose relationship is at the verge of falling apart and you need a divine intervention. I'm talking to someone as you watch me now, the Spirit of God will bear witness with you that this word is for you. This is an instruction for someone. God says, if what you have in your hand is not bread, then it is seed. God says the help that you need, your next level doesn't come from without, it comes from within. What you have in hand, will make room for what you are looking for. What you have in your hand will make room, will make a way for what you are believing God for. When you pray for something, God gives you an instruction and hidden in that instruction is the key to that thing that you've prayed for. Someone you are desperately believing God to show up, God is placing a demand for a sacrificial giving, for a sacrificial seed. God is placing a demand for a sacrificial seed and the heavens will open over you. God is placing a demand. Had it been this widow held back what she had? Had it been this widow saying no? Our all and the, guess what? The Bible says the widow made for Elijah, for Elijah first. The widow decided to obey the instruction and she made for Elijah first. And guess what? Her, her jar of flour didn't run dry. Her, her jar of oil never ran dry. 
because she obeyed an instruction. Someone God says what you have been praying for, what you have been trusting him for is hidden in an instruction. And it is your obedience to that instruction that is going to open that door for you. The thing is, God will never force you to obey an instruction. But the person that the word is for will know and has the conviction and knows exactly what God expects of them and how much God is laying in their heart to sow. It's not an offering. This word is not an offering. It is a sacrificial seed by someone. And this seed is meant to be your seed of faith, telling God it is either you do it or you do it. I am going all out for you. I'm going all out for you. Hallelujah. And I just have this one prayer. God will honor your obedience and will reward you. I want you to know this. Everything you do in an attempt to obey God will always be rewarded. There is a reward for everything you do in an attempt to obey God. There is a reward. That's what my father taught us. There is a reward. Everything you do in an attempt to obey God will not go. Nothing you do in an attempt to obey God will go unrewarded. That's the better way of putting it. So everything you do because you want to obey God, because you seek to obey God's instruction, will be rewarded. So as you stretch yourself, as you obey the instruction, God will meet you at the point of your need. So your seed should not be a generous seed. It should have something tacked to it. One thing you are believing God for. One thing you are trusting God for, you are telling God, I'm going all out to obey this instruction and I'm believing you for this one thing. I'm believing you for this one instruction. I'm believing you for my marriage. I'm believing you for my finances. I'm believing you for a job. I'm believing you. Your seed should not be general. It should be a particular thing that you are trusting God for. Tack it on your seed. Check the, the description box for the cash app, the PayPal, or you can simply attach your request and hit on that super thanks and obey the instruction. This is the first time I'm giving this kind of word. And I would not just come and give a word that I didn't hear God tell me. This is an instruction for someone. If it's not for you, praise God. If you don't need anything from God, praise God. But the person that this word is for, when they see it, they are going to know because they are in a tight corner and only God can take them out of it. Someone you are going to challenge yourself and plant a seed you've never planted before and watch God do great things in your life. God bless you. Shalom.